Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself, and as I was making them, they would not stop talking to me. And this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And so far, I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a juicy, sensuous, provocative love story about human evolution. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck based off of the characteristics and personalities of my Jungle Beauty Goddess dolls. In this video, I want to introduce you to another portion, um, a segment, how do I say, that's going to be added to my channel. I am going to show you how to make a doll. We're going to start off with the zodiac signs. We're going to start with Capricorn, and you'll guess why. <laughs> we're going to make a doll, a Capricorn doll, and we're going to um, fill her with the herbs and the gemstones and the flowers and the oils. We're going to um, give her a name based off of her zodiac sign. And I'm going to show you how to, to make the doll. Now I have a plethora of doll patterns on my channel. Instructions, if I were you, if you're not an experienced sewer, just pick the most simplistic pattern to make your doll because you don't want to waste a lot of time on trying to figure out how to sew the doll when you could be trying to um, you know, use that energy to bring the doll to life and create your own personal oracle tarot deck based off of the doll that you've made. Isn't it going to be fun? I am so pumped. I'm so excited. I don't even, I don't know what, where to start. So this is just, um, this is not, I'm going to use different patterns, different techniques, different um, types of dolls for different zodiac signs. And we are going to use all of the astrological metaphysical powers attached to that particular zodiac sign to align it with that doll. I'm going to show on um, camera, we're probably going to bring that doll to life. We're, I'm going to show you how to communicate with your doll so that you can learn exactly what should be on your oracle or tarot handmade deck. Um, it's going to be really, it's going to be a lot of fun. So with this, is, this is a doll um, that I'm going to use for the Capricorn. She's not completely together yet. And um, I'm going to show you guys in the first video how to make horns. Because, I mean, darling, you cannot make a Capricorn doll, right? Without her horns. Come on. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to, in my description box, I have a list of doll patterns that I've already created. And you should go through the ones that are easiest based on your skill set. If you are new to doll making, I would say start with the sock doll. I sell the pattern on my Etsy um, channel. Or you don't have to, just do your own thing, okay? Um, it's not a lot, but I just want you to, I want you to take part in the experience of creating a doll um, communicating with that doll and creating your own tarot deck is going to be so magical and so powerful because it's going to be filled with energy from you uh, from so many levels. I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? It's not um, energy for someone else. It's going to be your energy. So um, the first thing, some of the first things you're going to need, of course, is needle and thread. Uh, maybe a sewing machine, depending on you know, you can find sewing machines as cheap as $99 or even cheaper. So I was, I would get an inexpensive sewing machine if you're not used to sewing. And um, you can make yarn hair. You can make, you can buy um, wefts or weave hair, child. You can take an old wig you have in the house. That's not a big issue. Like I said, we're not, I'm going to, I have a lot of things on my channel 
to help you decorate your doll, I will show you step by step. We're going to make their earrings from scratch. I'm going to use hot glue to make sure that I put the astrological symbol inside of the ear, um, the earring, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's going to be so much fun. And um, we're going to also make the, the planet, which is for, for Capricorn and Saturn. It's important to make the planet because when we put start making the deck, we want to make sure that we have like a picture of the Saturn and for you to paint the, the planet itself, for you to understand the um, the metaphysical or the power of the planet. So we're going to make the seagull as well, which is going to be an original a pattern that I'm making and I'll show you guys how to make it again I'm just going to sell the patterns very inexpensively on my Etsy shop but we're going to make the seagull and we're also going to make the male Capricorn yes child we have to have the male and I'm going to do this for each one of the zodiac signs and then we're going to you know maybe in between that because I know that we might I might want to just move to the original tarot deck I might want to make the fool or the joker or the priest and like I'm when I get inspired and you know things just come to me I just want to make them so um yes this is so right now I just wanted to introduce this to you I think by Friday I'll have the video up uh, with the on how to make the horns for the Capricorn doll Guys, this is nothing but foil and paper towel. And I want to show you foil, paper towel, and glue. Listen. You can break this if you wanted to. This is just foil, paper towel, and glue. I'm going to show you how to do it. Are you excited? And uh, we're going to just glue them on her, or we might make her headband so in case she decides she wants to be normal, whatever. Um, I like to do things separately so that if, you know, when we go to the Aries doll or to other dolls that may have horns, I want it to be a standalone so I can just link that video. Um, if you have any questions for me on how to make your own handmade oracle deck from beginning to end, step by step. Um, we're also going to create the the guidebook as well for each one of the dolls. So for each one of the zodiac signs, we're going to create the dolls, the male, the female, and whatever animals associated with that doll. And we're going to, of course, the oils, the herbs, the gemstones, the flowers. We're going to put a message inside of the doll. We're going to bring that doll to life. Then we're going to take pictures. I'm going to show you how I take pictures. And I'm going to show you how to use your cardboard paper. And I also use like wisdom oil, um, different types of oils inside of my glue. When I, take, when I actually glue the two pieces of cardboard papers together. So the cards, they really smell good. And they just have such a magical feeling about them. Um, but we got, we're going to make the cards after we make the mail, after we make the sea goat and the planet and then we're going to do variations of pictures and then we're going to put like you know write down different whatever the doll wants us to know based on the traits and person the personality traits of the capricorn and we're going to go through the entire zodiac sign and we may use like i said different patterns and different um, types like we might do a stump doll. We may make a doll out of a bottle. We may we're not going to just use one particular pattern. Um, I don't have this particular pattern available. Um, it's very complicated and it takes a long time to do. But I do have several doll instructions on my on my YouTube channel that you can you know look at. So, and I'm going to continue to do the pick a card videos because I enjoy them so much. But for those of you who would like to indulge in making your own dolls, your own oracle and tarot decks from beginning to end, your own guidebook, please join me. If you have any additional questions, I would say just right now get some stuffing, some fabric, some needles, thread, sewing machine, paint. Like, just start with that. And as we go along, the videos will be up, so you don't no need to rush. But anyway, I just want to thank you so much for joining me. And I look forward to making each one of the zodiac signs, each, each, uh, 
a doll for each one of the zodiac signs with a handmade oracle tarot deck and guidebook. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.